Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to see Advanced Math in ABPLC. So in Advanced Math topic, you can see what are the functions they have given. So first, they have given absolute value. So what this function will do now, right now, I'll just use uh, integer address. So save it, then download. Then so in absolute value, what happens is if I given a positive value, you can see in source I'm giving it as 45. It's showing 45. Suppose if I give a negative value, so in your calculation, you are getting a negative value, but always the output of the function should be positive. So the negative value, I can't use it. So I have to convert the negative into what positive. So for that only they have given this absolute value. So your source value, it can be a plus or minus. Always the destination will be what positive value only it will display. So that's the function of absolute value. So next is, uh, you can see SCP. SCP means uh, scale with parameter. So scaling function has been given. So right now I'm saying uh, the, already we know now in analog, what we do is, so the, when we connect a level transmitter, the output of level transmitter, if you say four to 20 milliamps, Your PLC, how it will read this value now? In your PLC program, it will read it as 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So that means in in input and input minimum maximum, what range we are going to get now? 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So right now, you are saying that uh, the level transmitter we are connected is 4 to 20. Your PLC reading it as 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. But I want to see in terms of zero to hundred. I want to watch uh, the tank level in terms of zero to hundred percent, uh, not in terms of uh, resolution, because it is not easy to understand uh, that value exactly the present which level exactly. So for that only they given scale with parameter. So what we can do is uh, in input minimum maximum, you can give zero to three to seven, six, seven. In scaled minimum, zero in maximum under. So in which format you want to watch? So I'm saying in a zero to hundred percent. If you say in terms of letters, maybe zero to 5,000 letters now, you can type it as 5,000. Or if you say in terms of uh, temperature, I want to see 0 to 500 degrees Celsius. Now, you can type it as 500. So, it is as a programmer, it is your wish. Depend on your project uh, as well as the what value you want to display. So, in input, uh, right now, manually we are going to give. So, I am using integer address and the scaled value we are going to display in another integer address. So save it. Then. So right now in here I'm just typing it as 12,000. So 12,000 corresponding in terms of percentage it uh, it's displaying as what? 37 percentage. If I give the maximum 32767, it will display as 100%. So since we given a input minimum maximum, scale minimum maximum direct value, we can't able to change it. Suppose if you want to change now, what we have to do is instead of giving a directly in scale, instead of giving direct zero, what I'll do is I'll give address. So at a run time, we can give the range. So you can see in here. So I'm saying 0 to, or uh, maybe you can say 4 to 20 milliamps. Now you can give 4 to 20. So when I given uh, 12 milliamps, now what happens? It's showing 
it is what? 12,000 value when you enter, it's showing us 10 milliamps. All in terms of letters means if you say now 0 to 5,000 letters, now it's showing in letters. So this is the usage of scaling function. So that in HMI and all, we can display to the operator exact value. Because as an operator, you don't have any knowledge in uh, PLC programming or what is meant by scaling and all. So we want to interact with the machine easily. So we want to display everything as it is uh, what happening in the field. So for that only we using this scaling function. So the next one is swapping. So in swapping, I'm just giving it as binary P3 colon zero. In the length, uh, I've given us maybe three. So in the name itself, you can see swapping. So swapping means it will swap the, right now you can see we're using what binary address, B3 colon zero. So already we know in B3 colon zero, how many bits we have now? We have 16 bits we have. So right now what it will do is, uh, you can see B3 colon zero. In B3 colon zero, we have 16 bits. So this block, what it will do now, it will divide this uh, 16 bit into 88 bit. 0 to 7 and 8 to 15. So right now, in 0th bit, the first set of 8 bit and second set of 8 bit, okay? Divide like that. In the first set means uh, the first bit will be 0. In the second set, first bit will be 8. So right now, in 0th bit, I'm giving it as 1. Correspondingly, in the second set of 8 bit, the 0, that is the 8th bit value is what? 0. So what happens now? Now it will do the swapping. So the 0 will swap in here, 1 will swap in here. So the swapping will continuously, it will go on. So like that, uh, if I given 7th bit now, correspondingly 15th bit, it will do the swapping. Or in 14th bit, if you given 1 means, uh, corresponding 6th bit, it will swap. And the length we given as what? 3. So the swapping not only happening in B3 colon 0, it will happen in B3 colon 1 also, as well as in 2 also. So this is the function of swapping. Suppose if you say the swap should happen only once, then what we have to do? Then we have to use a input. So in bit function now, In bit function, we can uh, place the input in here and uh, one shot. Because if you connect a normal input means what happen? Uh, just like an activate deactivate function only. The swapping will happen continuously. But right now we given what? One shot. One shot means uh, even the switches on also, it will provide only single pulse. So I'll give a binary address in here. You can see automatically taking what? P3 colon 3. Because in here length has been given 3. So 0, 1, 2 will be used. So automatically third channel it is using 0th bit. So right now in B3 address. First itself I will give 1 in here. I will keep it. So right now the swapping is not happening since we're using what? Input. So right now, I'll activate this one. So just a single pulse has been given. You can off it. Just open the table. What happened? The swap has been happened only once. So it can you can use this function as what? Continuous swapping. So if you're using that particular bit, uh, for example, this particular bit, uh, use it as a contact now. So that contact word, it will continuously give a pulse. So like that, we can use it. All that you can use as a swapping also. So depend on your application and task, you can implement whether it is as a continuous signal or just one uh, pulse, you can swap it.
So the next one is decode, decode, encode. So in here, I'm giving it as uh, integer address. So you can see right now what happens now. You can see the name itself in the decode, what they have given. Decode 4 to 1 of 16. That means 4 bits to 1 of 16 bit. Right now in N7 colon 6, in that how many bits we have now? We have 16 bits. But for this function in source, it need only 4 bit. So with the help of 4th bit, we are going to switch 1 of 16 bit. So that means right now, I'll just open the table. I'll give binary. So in N7 colon 6, you can see in the source it's showing 4 0. So each 0 contains 4th bit. So right now, for this function, only the first zero only will be used. So this zero only will be used. So that means zero to third. So these first four bit will be used. So we know in uh, binary, it will be what? Two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three. That means eight, four, two, one. So right now, we'll go to the runtime. You can see in the destination, 0th bit is on in N7 colon 7. So why the 0th bit is on now? In N7 colon 6 right now, the value it is displaying is what? 0. So 0th bit is activated. So right now, 8, 4, 2, 1. So this bit alone, if you activate now, you can see. First bit is on. Suppose if you say 8th bit should on, then what we have to do? 8, 4, 2, 1. That means third bit is one means eighth bit will on. Suppose if you want to activate twelfth bit, then what we have to do? Eight four two one. That means third bit plus second bit eight four. So eight plus four twelve. So this one, if you give one, then twelfth bit will be one. So that means what? By giving value, we are activating an output. So for that only we using this decode. And encode is opposite. So right now, if I activate 10th bit now, it will show that the corresponding value. A, A means 10. So right now, if I give a 7th bit as 1 now, you can see it will show as 7. So by activating output, you are generating a value. So this is the function of decode and encode. So decode means fourth bit. So in source, in fourth bit, whatever value we are typing, that particular bit will energize. And in here, one of 16. So whichever bit is activated, that corresponding bit number, it will generate as a value. So these are the topics present in advanced math functions. Thank you.